I have a section in, in, in a book, Surviving Mold, that I published in 2010, uh, that's, that's, a, that's about the, the spouse. How many lives have been destroyed? How many marriages destroyed? How many relationships destroyed? Because nobody can identify the illness. And I'm telling you, you can put it on a piece of paper. Just look at innate immune activation. And well, inflammation, what do you think about? You know, red joints, warm joints, hot joints, joints that don't move, joints that are, that are not working right, right? Gout, rheumatoid arthritis, that's inflammation, right? Actually, day one in med school, in pathology, is talking about mediators of inflammation that circulate in your blood. And the only place that you don't get inflammatory responses affecting you is where blood doesn't go. So the ends of my fingernails do not have inflammatory responses. My hair does not have inflammatory responses. My hair follicles does. Do. English language. So when I'm looking at systemic problems that don't go away, these are chronic inflammatory response syndrome, CIRS. My left hand, my right hand. Left hand is acquired immune responses, antibodies. Allergy, immune globulin E. Right hand is innate immune problems, and this system is ideally designed to help us respond to foreign invaders. We call them antigens, and they're found in the environment, and the antigen is detected by structures called receptors. Think of an antigen as a lock, and or is, is a key, and a receptor is a lock. Here is this, this key floating around you just breathed in. And by the way, one thing, Bruce, you need to know is that spores are less than 0.2% of the problem indoors. Fragments of spores, other particulates, huge importance. And if someone's talking to you about spores only, they don't have a clue what 99.8% .8 of the problem is for human health. But these particulates, they're small. They're detected. And that detection sets off this recruitment device that says to our body, we're being attacked. It's like the, the sentry around the military base. And you get 50 guys, you know, with hoods and handkerchiefs and machine guns sneaking up on the fence. And one sentry says, there's 50 people on the other side. Is it the sentry's job to take out all 50? Or does he set off the alarm that gets multiplied by 10 more guys and 10 more guys each, and 10 more guys each, each, each? So now 1,000 respond to the 50. That's what you're supposed to do. And that's what innate immune mechanisms do. They amplify the host response to bring together the functions that let antigen-presenting cells engulf this receptor antigen complex, bring it inside the cell, stick on an immune, immune recognition molecule called HLA, very important, process this whole mixture, and present it to a T cell, which presents it to a B cell that makes an antibody. Antigen detection, antibody production. The antibody is specific for the antigen and wipes it out perfectly. Think about it, if you've got the innate immune mechanism and it recognizes there's a dog in the front yard, the innate immune mechanism says dog, front yard. And the antibody says that is a three-legged schnauzer with a half-ripped ear. <laughs> so the antibody mechanism is specific. The innate immune mechanism is not, but what happens if the system doesn't work? What happens if you don't make an antibody? If you don't make an antibody, 
the three-legged schnauzer with ripped ear, he's going to stay out in the front yard. And maybe that dog's not going to bite you, but how about if it's a Rottweiler? Not to pick on Rottweilers. If you don't have clearance of antigen, what will happen to your poor innate immune receptors that detect antigen? They say, eh, we're being attacked still. Send out some more inflammatory markers. And this whole system starts deteriorating because you have unopposed activation of all these inflammatory mechanisms that should be making antibodies that don't. So unopposed inflammatory problems in the setting of particular HLA or innate immune correction, or in, in, these are the immune response cells, will lead to a problem where finally you lose regulation of inflammation. And if you look on your acronyms, you'll see MSH and VIP. And when you lose regulation of inflammation, what happens to the inflammation that's going nuts anyhow? It gets worse. It 